Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arvis Cafe, and Sherry is with me today. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Sherry, and we're going to talk about how to make a necklace because we had questions about people asking us how do you process. Where do you start to make um, a necklace? Mm -hmm. And it's something we cannot really explain, and we prefer to show you, and to show you how our brains work. Why did we choose this, and, and what inspire you first? So, yeah, yeah. Sherry, what inspire you today? Oh, this bead, <laughs> right here. Beautiful. This is just the most beautiful golem bead, and mm -hmm. I love uh, warm colors, as you know. Fine. And I just love everything about this bead and thought it would be fun to make a necklace with it. Mm -hmm. So I went about, um, I like to just gather, um, you know, look at my stash and gather anything that I think might look nice with it. I'm right. um, not knowing exactly what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. right? You don't know what sizes necessarily you're going to need as you go. So right. I like to kind of make a little pile. Right. And um, so I found these beautiful uh, malachite bronzite beads, and I thought that they um, pull this color in the leaf just, um, it's almost exact. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That. And I knew I was going to want a little pop of the orange, and um, so I found these beautiful Czech um, beads. The saturation, uh, the color of these, I thought was so mm -hmm. pretty. And um, so I have these in a couple different sizes, and right. then I thought maybe I want something a little light, so I pulled a few things, mm -hmm. um, a little sparkle. Um, I always like a little right. bit, um, grabbed some seed beads in case I need them for spacing things out mm -hmm. or um, separating things, and um, so yeah, that, that was kind of my start. Yes, that's really a beautiful bead. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm starting with uh, Swarovski. And I love the Swarovski shimmer, and I have one here that is the black diamond uh, shimmer, and then the other one is the light Colorado Topaz shimmer. And uh, they, you know, they both have some kind of the same tone. Uh, you have some blues in both of ones, and you have kind of a, some gold in both of them. And um, so that's why I, I cannot decide <laughs> yet which one I'm going to do first. But I try to have some beads that both um, that complement both of them. And I love those I little do. Czech do too. Uh, flowers. And I thought they go so well together. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, look at that. Because you have the little of uh, um, rose gold inside. And I thought that goes really well with those two uh, Swarovski. This one I love, love, love. It's the Crystal Metallic Sunshine. Oh, one of my favorites. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. I love it. Then some blues and then uh, some browns. I love this one too. I thought that it goes so well with that pendant because it kind of have the same tones. Mm -hmm. Could go with the blue too. Beautiful. That's beautiful. And uh, and then some spaces because I always need spaces. <laughs> <laughs> and some beads. We have some really pretty beads here from Tiracast. Um, so... Shall we start? Let's start. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you start with your wire measuring? Well, I, okay. I'm not really good at measuring things. This is how I do. I take <laughs> my wire and I go, okay. <laughs> right. If you're making <laughs> it for yourself, want, right? Yes. Or, yeah. I thought, how long yep. do I want it? I think I want it long like that. And I do this. Yeah. Thank you. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I cut already. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you're making it for yourself, that's just, I think that's a perfect way of doing it. You just add a little extra for the, the ends. Yes. Um, otherwise, you can measure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, different standard lengths mm -hmm. um, for different necklaces, like uh, 16. 16, and yes. Then about the collar, and 18's a little longer, right. and then all the way down to um, opera length. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and um, I see so you use a bead stopper, too. I have too. a bead stopper on one end, yes. which I love. Those bead stoppers are great. Um, those are the tool I must have um, that I use all the time because you cannot lose your beads. How many times, right. you know, that beads just fly. So right. I'm like, no, no, a oh, bead I stopper know. is great. I used to use tape, uh, folded tape Kitten. on the ends. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, oh, what a great invention. This <laughs> They're so much better. Right. <laughs> so where do you start? Do you start with the class first or do you start um, in the middle? I usually start in the middle um, mm -hmm. and I'll... I'll attempt one side and then if I think I like it but maybe I'm not sure then maybe I'll build a little on the other side mm -hmm. that's a little different and then I'll look at the two and right. see which I like better and then I'll take one end off and yeah so it kind of yeah. goes back and forth like that yeah. um, 
for a while. I, I do too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do the same. I start in the middle and uh, both sides won't be the same until I'm satisfied yeah. with them. And um, I always put my clasp at the end because um, I choose my clasp at the end thinking about what kind of theme my necklace uh, is, uh, mm -hmm. what do I feel from that, so do I want a uh, clasp that have an earthy tone or something more elegant, like I yeah. see you have some leaves, which yeah. goes great pretty, with the yeah. theme of the bead. Pick the, the leaf theme. Um, also, how heavy does this, or bulky, you right. know, the, the look of the piece, is it, if it has a bulky look, you don't mm -hmm. want a delicate little um, yes. clasp, you want something that matches that. If it's heavy, you want something that can hold it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, exactly. I, I, again, yes, I agree. You yeah. want to um, do that near the end, but I have a few things collected to start with, right. um, just to make sure that I have them. Yes. And I'll decide later. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. I prefer to decide later. So let's start. And um, you can start if you want, Sherry. Okay. I'm going to put some jump ring on my uh, crystals here. One of the things about a bead this shape is um, you can see there's a little bit of a notch where the bead hole is. And so to start with, I want to find a bead that's going to kind of sit mm -hmm. in there and um, so that I don't have a big gap. And so this little bead looks like it. Um, should be just about right. I think there. so. Yeah, yep, that's nice. Um, so that's where I'm going to start. Okay. <laughs> and um, I know I'm going to get to some bigger beads, but um, I think I want to separate them with a little pop of color because we're a little dark. I love these little sparkly. Um, they have a little hexagon shape, mm -hmm. but they're, they're just that little bit of sparkle. And I want a little bit of color, I think. So I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of color, and um, a little bit of sparkle. Love that. Just it's cute. Bit. Yeah. It's so funny what a little teeny bead mm -hmm. can do. And then um, I'm going to go for the larger bead, I think. And we'll see. I might change my mind. <laughs> okay, well, um, let me show what I'm doing. So I decided I'm going to go with the the black diamond or shimmer because it has some of those blue tones that I really like. So I did, um, I put a jump ring and I'm just going to put it on my string and then I need to decide what's next. Well, I'm pretty sure that I cannot put a flower next to it um, because the shape of the drop and the flower they're not going to be sitting very well together so I need to add beads first before I put the flowers and I really want to use those flowers so I'm thinking I might start hmm dinner my dinner <laughs> maybe with this blues or uh, let's see I think I'm going to start with the uh, metallic sunshine it's really cute and like Sherry, I like a little, um, little color just in between. I think those look really cute. They're kind of a darker blue. Now it goes well. And I'm gonna try another metallic. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna do one more. And then I wanna try to put my uh, flower. And um, but I like to make kind of a segment in between. I don't want to put my flower right away. So I'm going to add a spacer. And we have those really cute spacers here. I think that will go well with the flower. Oops. So let's see. I need to cut my uh, wire a little better. Okay, let's add the flower and then another spacer and then I'm not sure that I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, there is something that, you know, I feel like uh, those are so pretty but then suddenly they kind of lose their tone, they lost something. So let's try that again. 
and, yeah, that, and that's kind of how it goes, huh? I mean, it's just a <laughs> experimenting and trying different things. Exactly. And that's, that's part of the fun. <laughs> it's part of the fun, really. So I'm putting, um, I'm putting a spacer now. And then those metallic, let's see. And what about if I try another sort of skip pearl? Like, oh, yes, maybe this one. And then another spacer, and now I'm gonna try the flower. Uh, where is the hole? There we go. There, I'm happier with that. Mm, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. I think so. Yeah, it 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 brings yeah. It, yeah it it gives it a f I don't know a Ex folk, more of a focal exactly. Origin. I think yeah. those were too small, mm -hmm. and it needed to be a, a bigger size, and uh, those are kind of a. Uh, um, the kind of shimmer also, so that goes really well with. And I will keep going, but Sherry, okay. what are you doing? Okay, so I kind of I have a, a established a pattern. Okay. <laughs> um, I have my small bead, and then I broke it up with these little teeny ones, and then I did this right. section um, of larger beads, and then brought in the the gorgeous uh, bright orange mm -hmm. red, and then um, thought, well, let's kind of then repeat and see how that looks right and I like it mm -hmm. so I'm That's going really to cute. keep it simple and just follow that um, right. out to a, a roughly the length that I think I'll need um, okay and then I'll put my stopper on and then I'll build the other side okay so I'm, I'm here I'm building the other side and I'm gonna see if I like it okay so um, I think this is really cute I like that uh, Mm. Well, I think what I'm going to do, it's repeating with those um, dark blue. And the reason why I'm repeating with these beads is because it, bring, it makes that flower popping up because those mm. colors are darker. And then you see the flower are much better. It does. It sort of frames it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Framing the flower, yes. And um, that, so this is where it's getting tricky because I have other colors and I'm very excited about the other colors <laughs> and I really want to use them. <laughs> right? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but yeah. sometimes you have to think, mm, no, no <laughs> just yeah. a few colors, it's okay. But I'm, I'm still yeah. going to try. I want to try this uh, aquamarine here and see how it looks like. Oh, that's really cute too. Let's keep going. And then I still have some um, the sunshine metallic sunshine here, so I need to bring that back. And I'm thinking I bring that back now, like that. So I want to make um, like a, a segment. So I'm gonna take the aquamarine again. Like that, and then I'm gonna go back to my flower segment. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I need some more spaces. Um, that and one more blue. And let's have a look at all of this. I like that. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. And that yep. little bit of sunshine in between, right? Exactly. Yeah, I love that. Okay. So this is the pattern that I'm choosing, and uh, I'm going to repeat that until the end and share it too. Mm -hmm. So something I want to point out also, I was starting to make the other side, and um, I forgot what bead was next. So what I do a lot of time is I bring the two thread together like that, the two sides together, like that I can see exactly where what is my next bead or my next spacers. And um, I do that one more time before also uh, closing my necklace because sometimes you just miss a, miss a spacer. And if you crimp and put your clasp, you have to do it again. So <laughs> I learned that the hard way. So Sherry and I have been stringing beads, and I just realized I ran out of beads. What? 
I know, I cannot believe that. It's like, what? Cynthia. I know. Oh, no, so, that's so funny. <laughs> and that happens pretty often. And um, so I've got different uh, solutions. So it's even um, a lot of time what I do actually when I run out of beads, I just uh, add some chain. And I add a chain or I add a ribbon. Um, that's give another way to finish. Oh, I have some more beads here. And we were looking at that and I thought, okay, I can even Ooh, add pretty. more beads yeah. like that. This one is really pretty. It's kind of a, a copper. And then there was this one kind of have some, goes closer with the other beads. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. But... Um, Mm, those are pretty. It was, it was really like... happens a lot. It really does. Because you, you don't know... The beads are all different sizes, and so you don't yes. know how far along your strand they're going to go. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other way, but I really don't want to do that now. <laughs> the other way, that what happened is when I run out of beads, um, I try to incorporate other beads in between. So I will, you know... To stretch take, it? Mm -hmm. Yes, to stretch it. So I could use more flowers if I want. Um, you see, I could put a, a flower here. Let's say I do that, the flower, a spacer, and here again, like that. So that will stretch uh, the necklace also. Right, right. So there are different ways to finish. You, you, you want beads, you know, don't think you are stuck because you don't have enough beads. You have ways to finish our necklaces. So, yes. <laughs> What about oh. you, Sherry? How are you doing there? Well, I don't ever do anything wrong. <laughs> or, so right. I'm carrying along, and I've got uh -huh. this little pattern going of shiny, orange, shiny, right. shiny, orange, shiny. And I get here, and I've got orange, shiny, orange, <laughs> orange, shiny, orange. And so, so you we have didn't to go listen to my I, tip. I'm sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> I did not. I did not. That happens oh too. Gosh. When happens we bead, we forget yeah. everything, right? We need to start thinking about beads. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to show that to you again. Before you finish your necklace, bring everything together. Bring the two strands together. Push on your beads because you want them to be tight uh, to your pendant here. So I'm pushing on my beads. And then I just check like that. And I'm looking, okay. Are they exactly the same? And you will see if you miss something because um, sometimes I even do this way like that. I really put them close together. Yeah, That's your, easy your big checked. pieces won't line up if there's something off. Yes, you know. yes. But yeah. always, always check before. Oh, that's a good tip. So I have to say something here. We've been laughing a lot doing this video because there are so many things that happen. <laughs> and this is the adventure making a piece of jewelry. <laughs> And we realized we were missing jumping and we were missing beads. And then I look at my necklace and you remember how I talk about <laughs> you have to align your piece. And I keep thinking, something is wrong. What was happening here? And then I look closely and I was missing a bead, actually. And I couldn't see that for the, the first 10 minutes. So is it fixed right now? Right. And I think we're in a Yay. good direction, right? Yay. You yes. fixed your mistake yep. too? I did. I fixed my mistake too. <laughs> It happens to everybody. And oh it my happens, gosh. I, I don't want to say all the time. Yes. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be productive. But, <laughs> um, but it happens a lot. It does. Right? It's you not a smooth know. thing. It's, yeah. it's yeah. yeah. A lot of time we have to redo um, our pieces because yeah. we miss something. Yes. For sure. So where are you here, Sherry? Okay. I'm about ready to, um, what I want to do is crimp this to my clasp. Okay. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, okay, so I'm ready to um, crimp my strand to the clasp. And so I'm going to um, slide a little crimp tube onto the wire. And then I'm going to use this magnetic clasp. Mm -hmm. I've, I have sort of a round theme going here in my necklace. Right. And I like the look of this round um, clasp. And I yeah. know it's sturdy and holds well. And I'm going to whoops, insert that into the um, clasp and then back through oh, get my little bead out of there back through the uh, crimp tube and then I'm going to cinch that up pretty close 
Um, you want some movement. You don't want mm -hmm. it crimped so tight that this can't uh, move around, but you um, also don't want a large gap. And then I'm separating those two wires so that uh, when I crimp, uh, when the crimp tool bites that um, crimp tube, it separates one wire to each side. So I'm doing that with the back jaw. Oh, it's magnetic. I am. <laughs> back jaw of the plier and crimped. There we go. And there you can see that there's the jewelry wire is in each side of that um, crimp tube. And then. I'm going to fold that in half with the front part of the plier. I like that, and that's really nice and secure. And then I'm going to snip off the um, extra up close to the crimp. So, like that. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to slide the beads down, take off my holder there, and then. Um, I like to just kind of fuss and smooth yes. the beads. Uh, for example, these might catch and be sitting to the outside, mm -hmm. and then when I crimp, yes. I don't realize it, and then I've ended up with a funny gap for something. Exactly. So I like to just kind of even hang it. Yes, that's one yeah. thing that I do all the time. I, I will crimp one size before a bracelet or a necklace, and then I always lift like that to make sure that all the beads, yeah. they stuck together well, and then I crimp. Nice and smooth, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so again, the crimp tube, and then the other end of the clasp, and I could have un, I could have opened it up and um, used the two halves separately, but this is working out fine. Back through the crimp tube, cinch it up. And then this is another place where you want to play. It's, mm -hmm. I've got, my, so my beads have slid around oh, while I've been right. in this process. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that all my beads, here I will undo it again, are down at that end. Yes, and look at the, and then see gap the gap suddenly. Yes. Right. So you want to um, make sure that you close that up. There we go. Now, in doing that, what you also want to make sure is that you haven't done it too tight. And so, again, I like it's holding pretty well. It's up pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to look at this and make sure that it's not crumbled right. and, and too tight. And be, besides doing it nice and straight like this, you also want to bring your piece around because mm -hmm. that's going to make some of the beads, depending on the kinds of beads that you've used, um, they will um, bunch and, and be too tight and not lay nice. So mm -hmm. I like to do that both ways. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to, again, crimp. And snip. And there, there we That's are. That's really cute. Right. That's really cute. You can okay. also crimp to jump rings if right. you like, which adds a little movement. And depending on um, what kind of beads you have up front, it can kind of free everything mm -hmm. so that it hangs yes. nicely. Um, but you don't have to. This is a nice, secure way. That looks so, really good. Yeah. And um, well if you. If you need um, more help when you bead, we have those um, bead bones that they're very great also for beading. So they come this way, and then you can just place your bead. So place your bead before you string. Uh, like that you can see if you're missing anything and how yeah. everything looks or like. Or if you have enough. <laughs> or if you have enough. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes you still might not be able to tell. <laughs> 
that's true. Well, that was quite an Get adventure money, today. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, we felt like, yeah, this is what happened to yeah. us. It's so many times you're thinking, okay, I have the idea in my head, and then suddenly you're missing something, right, or right. you you made a mistake, and then... Um, yeah, and how you work. People think that we this just doesn't happen to us. Yes. And it does. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, thank Sherry. You. It was for, fun. <laughs> it was fun. There was a, it was an adventure today, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> but thank you so much for uh, joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And uh, make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter. And you will see more of our videos, ideas, and promotions. So, thank you, yeah, thank Sherry. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye.